Hello everyone, welcome back to Mechanorn. This is Mechanorn 17. This is gonna pick up where it last left off with um, mech stuff. And this season I'm doing uh, Sinful Gear, which I know most people will be like, it's not really mecha, because no giant robots, but the girls are kinda techish when they met Transform, so it's more of like a tech magical girl series. And the other one will be Aquarium Logos, which is season 3 of uh, Aquarium, if you are familiar with any of that. And I'm gonna jump right into with Sinful Gear. We're out the bat with a uh, uh, Simple Gear GX episode two, Shatter the World. But before that, and this one episode is more of like a continuation of the first episode with all the main girls kind of fighting these new enemies. And for the most part, you have Hibiki. She's trying to do her best to calm um, Carol down so she doesn't, you know, you know, blow up anything. And Carol keeps egging her on, like, "Come on, transform your Simple Gear so we can fight." And you know, Hibiki keeps telling her that she doesn't want to fight because there's no reason to fight they can just talk things out and they can solve this peacefully but Carol isn't having any of that and if you were you know confused with Carol she's like a witch I guess she is technically the leader because the other girls that are fighting you know Chris and Tsubasa are kind of like puppets so they're like these mechanical puppet looking girls so in reality it's Carol versus all these girls kind of by herself since you know, again, she's using, I guess they revealed that she's using alchemy to use with this power. But, so you got Hibiki trying to try, fight with Chris, kind of calm her down so she don't, don't have to blow the city up. But, uh, Carol doesn't take no for answering his blaster. And, you know, they get later, bet, later on more about, you know, what happens between those two. But, uh, Chris is also fighting, I'm going to butcher a name, someone named Lumir Durahim, which is a, another doll that she's fighting. And during the fight, she's, she's kind of holding her own, but, you know, before Chris gets, you know, I guess, beaten, or not really beaten, but she's gonna, she's in danger. Someone shouts out to her to watch out, and they reveal that, you know, that's Elfin 9, which is a little girl. I, I'm going to guess she's probably a sister to Carol, because both characters have similar hairstyles, and both of them, I guess, can use alchemy. But she's got a box with her, and I guess she's, it's like this ultimate weapon that she's trying to keep away from. Carol and her team but uh yeah so Chris and Elfin kind of team up and they kind of help each other and they also again reveal that the enemy new enemy team is using magic instead of uh this other kind of power which Sinful Gear they use like crystal powers which are kind of I'm not sure where it comes from if it's magic related but I think they're artifacts that resonate with certain people who have singing ability or something like that because all the girls kind of sing when they transform so that's kind of a little clue on that but meanwhile, Tsubasa and Maria are still fighting Farah, which is another doll that is just kind of like only in both of them. But it's kind of hard for Tsubasa because you know she's got Maria with her who can't transform, so she's kind of like a kind of like a got a little handicap there because she has to protect Maria at the same time while fighting this other girl. And you know those two kind of finally escape. Maria, you know, under the government control, isn't really allowed to go where she wants, but. She gets away with, uh, you know, with, with Tsubasa, and they kind of run away to escape. And before they get a chance to really leave, Farah kind of jumps them again. Even cutting their car, they kind of escaped in, in half almost. We're cutting the roof off, and that was pretty funny. But before all that, we had a, a little bit with Maria kind of revealing what happened to her after season two ended. Her and her two friends, Kira and Sharabe, kind of were almost like I think Maria was blackmailed a little bit that. Some government agency guy told her, just tell everyone you're a agent of ours and you didn't do any of this and you're you'll be fine. No no one will hate you for that. Because, you know, in season two, the they were kinda of trying to destroy the world almost or trying to blow the moon up basically. And they were kinda of misguided. So in this time I guess they used that just pretend you're an agent and we'll let you off. But you gotta do the idle stuff, so which is still it makes no sense to me, I guess they wanna keep her from telling the truth what really happened but yeah so her story I guess she was pretending to be an agent which I don't know how much it's going to be playing into the overall story and they don't really explain you know about the transformations with her but I guess her crystal is destroyed but in the meantime the other two girls Karara and Sarabe kind of see a bunch of explosions going off and they kind of want to help and they got their gems they can transform and help but that might be a little bit later on but maybe they might do it next week because 
you know, all the girls kind of need some backup right now. They're all kind of getting owned right now. And, uh, closer to the end of the episode, Ross Sabasa and Chris are fighting. Well, I guess more of Sabasa. They reveal these new sound creatures, and noise creatures, sorry, which were a big thing in both one season one and season two, which are these CGI-looking monster creatures that anything it touch, it disintegrates. So, in, in the first two seasons, the sinful gear, the armor was the only thing that could stop them. They could punch one of those creatures without worrying about being disintegrated. But if they touch, like, human flesh or objects or anything, they just melt through it. But these new ones are a little different. They're um, actually called Arcanoids, which I guess maybe because they're arcane, maybe maybe it's more magic related, that they can actually eat through the Sinful Gear armor and they can just destroy them. So that's kind of the new enemy they got this week. A new enemy version. And so yeah, so you know all the girls besides Hibiki who doesn't transform, she gets knocked out and Chris kind of, or not Chris, yeah, Carol kind of, leaves she, um, you know the whole I'm not, I'll fight you when you're at your, your best I don't want to fight you when you're not transformed so she kind of leaves and the, they reveal that you know near the end closer to the last episode a couple of frames of her sitting in a room like a red room and all you see is the silhouette of the other doll which is in the preview I think even in the trailer or even in the opening this like a doll with big claws so another threat that they're gonna be sending out later we also had the blue one this week that was like kind of like a vampire or basically kisses you and sucks all your energy out of you. So all these little dolls she has have a you know unique thing to them. So again, like I said, I think it's Carol with four different types of dolls working for, for her or that she created to fight. And they're trying to get Elf and Nine in the whole the box that she's carrying. So it's getting there. Uh, some extra things from the episode, I thought, you know, we had Chris and Tsubasa finally doing a new transformation. The animation is all different than they were in the first two seasons. So it's kind of cool to see that they kind of change things up a little bit, but it's still the same outfit. They just kind of changed it, how it was, you know, put on the girl and how she transforms. So it's kind of cool seeing that they put in some new animation work this season on that. But I'm also wondering if the Sinful Gear outfits are destroyed... What would that mean we'll get new versions of these suits? Or are they just temporarily, like, you know, like they got the first layer of armor knocked off? But, the, you know, the crystal is what the ultimate power that they have is. So if you destroyed that, I guess they would be done. But maybe just losing the armor is not going to be a big deal. So we'll see. But, uh, yep, see you guys next week for the next episode. It's episode three, and, yeah, things are getting real good at that. Uh, Simple Gear is just a treat. It's very fun. I love that one.